After a hiatus last year, the Brandywine Festival of the Arts returned to Wilmington's scenic Josephine Gardens in Brandywine Park for its 60th anniversary. Started in 1961, the Brandywine Festival of the Arts began as a single-day art show and has evolved into a regionally and nationally recognized two-day event with over 200 exhibiting artists. It certainly is a melting pot. Barry Schlecker, event producer for the past 11 years, says the festival has evolved from its humble beginnings as an art show into a full-blown production. We always had good art but it was an art show. So we made it more of an all day event. We've now put in a food court, which extends back with 12 local vendors. We brought in entertainment, local musicians, a children's play area, an activity area. So every event consists of good art and crafts, obviously, good food and good music, and entertainment for the children. Many of the artists exhibiting this year have been with the festival for decades. Sandy Askey Adams, this year's featured artist, has been selling her work with the Brandywine Festival of the Arts since 1982. And it's funny because I've also watched families grow up, people who have gotten married and then they've had children. I just had someone, someone buy a painting today who bought a painting for me about 25, 30 years ago. It's been pretty cool. This year's end of summer family and pet friendly event was held only one week after catastrophic flooding severely damaged Brandywine Park in the aftermath of Hurricane Ida. We got the community very involved when the park was underwater last week. <laughs> Literally, the community came out and helped clean it up. We've had some really good luck over the years. Who knew it was going to get this good as quickly as it did? But it works because of all the community involvement. Making sure the festival ran this year, despite Hurricane Ida, was a priority that was amplified by the harrowing year and a half that the entire world faced during the COVID-19 pandemic. There were a lot of cancellations, a lot of cancellations. It was hard. Since I do this for a living, it was hard keeping up with that living or bringing the money in. Most of us, that's all we do for a living. The festival, which normally draws thousands of people each year and marks the beginning of the fall event season, came back strong despite lingering concerns about the COVID-19 pandemic. Feel good. I mean, it's one of those happy day moments, yeah. Reporting from Wilmington, this is Amanda Robbins, 22 News.